see, uh, they tell me that in the NBA, you can win a championship by doing nothing. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You see, they tell me that it's hard to get an NBA title without an all-star though. You need to have a LeBron James, a Kevin Durant, a Steph Curry, or, or somebody else. If you're into soccer, just look what happened to Barcelona when they lost their all-star player, Lionel Messi. Barcelona crumbled like the walls of Jericho. Now in the NBA, when that all-star player brings the team to win the championship, what I like about this is that everyone gets a championship ring. Even if they sat on the bench the whole season. They sat on the bench, but they still got a championship ring. There are players, church, who have won championship titles, but just sitting on the bench. Oh, you did not hear me. I said when an all-star wins a championship, the victory of the all-star player is for the entire team. Even those who sat on the bench. Well, a few years ago, there was an NBA championship on a hill called Calvary. God, the coach, decided to hire an all-star player. They call him Jesus. Jesus, the bright and morning star. We did not do nothing. We did not do anything to get the victory, but we just sat on the bench. While the all-star was getting beaten, we were seated. While the all-star was being crucified, we were seated. While the all-star's blood was dripping, we were seated. While the all-star was hanging on Calvary, we were seated. And on the third day, early Sunday morning, when Jesus lifted the trophy his victory was our victory his resurrection was our resurrection his championship was our championship his joy was our joy his peace was our peace he is our all-star player who says I've won it all for you keep sitting keep looking Keep following, keep surrendering, because we have an all-star player. Jesus the Christ, who says, I have gotten the victory for you.